Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes on Thursday, the 5th of March, uh, here on Share Talk and sponsored by the UK Investor Show. Uh, perhaps a rather surprising uh, inclusion today uh, to start off with is Angus Energy, with shares up uh, by nearly. Uh, 50% just uh, nudging the 200-day moving average there uh, earlier on at 1.35 pence and uh, uh, certainly giving the impression that uh, uh, this could be a sustained rally. The the reason for the excitement, I suppose, is the uh, break of the September resistance line there, which uh, tr- uh, triggered the, the break higher today. Uh, that was running at around the uh, 0.9 pence level, and while we're above 0.9 then, uh, looking for, uh, uh, I suppose, a retest of uh, July resistance, post-July resistance, at two pence as a best-case scenario. Uh, but obviously, that depends on exactly how uh, the company deals with its recent share price recovery. Uh, on to um, a stock which um, I, I think I looked at a while back, and it, it did seem to be uh, encouraging in terms of potential recovery. Uh, Block Energy. Here you can see the way that uh, the shares have broken the, the top of that triangle around the 3.8 uh, uh, pence level. And uh, at least while we're above that, and especially with an end of day close today, above the 50 day moving average, that's the blue line there at uh, 4.29 pence. Uh, we're looking for at least a, a retest of the main post December resistance area at 5.5 pence, and hopefully uh, much more uh, on tap after that. Uh, on to a stock which uh, uh, is uh, normally one I, I keep an eye on. Um, at the moment, uh, we've got Ilica here uh, breaking this uh, triangle formation that we've had in place since uh, January and also the 50-day moving average at 39 pence. While we hold above uh, the 50-day line, which is rising, that's a positive uh, as far as this uh, rally is concerned, uh, then looking to a top of November price channel target as high as 70 pence over the next month or so. Uh, on to uh, Kia, which uh, uh, the rug was pulled from under the bulls, obviously, with the uh, big fall in the stock market last week, uh, down from 150 plus down towards uh, uh, a pound. Uh, but we have uh, bounced on the um, 50 day moving average at 103 pence and broken back above the uh, 200 day line at 111 an end of day close above 111 and this uh, February resistance line there uh, should be enough to allow the shares to uh, uh, revisit part of their recent highs especially with the po- prospect of possibly filling that gap uh, through 140 which was left on the uh, decline that we saw last week so above 111 at least and the 200 day line up towards 140 for Kier Group uh, stock which um, is a strange chart, not the normal uh, type of recovery situation that we uh, uh, look at. It comes in the form of um, Shield Therapeutics. Uh, the reason for the excitement here is the uh, break of uh, that resistance um, uh, area on the way down uh, at 120. Uh, sorry, 133. End of day close above 133 today. That neckline resistance, and the shares could at least retrace uh, part of their uh, post-February precipitous decline. Uh, the favoured area would be towards 150 to 155, which was support on the way down for the shares. Uh, I suppose the stop loss that really back below 130, which was also support on the way down, uh, if you are of that type of uh, technical, uh, charting technical stop loss variety. Uh, on to uh, Versarion, which uh, uh, I'm sort of uh, wanting to go up just a, 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 out of sympathy, if nothing else, given how much the company has been hit over the recent past. Uh, we did uh, have it uh, as a potential buy just below 40 pence. We peaked today at around 56 pence, which is a decent uh, one week uh, turnaround for the stock. Now I just wait, we just need to be uh, wait to see whether uh, the resistance line there from February has actually blocked uh, the shares uh, for the near term. But uh, at least while we're above uh, the 40 pence area, uh, looking for further potential of getting up to the 60 to 65 pence area, which was support on the way down for the stock. Uh, Finishing off with uh, Extract Resources, which has been a rather troublesome contender from a charting perspective. We've had uh, many attempts by the shares to uh, get back into bull mode. Uh, There was a rally there in November, also uh, a rally in February as well, but uh, we've had this line of resistance from September at a penny, and that has blocked uh, the price action today uh, once again. Uh, end of day close or weekly close of above a penny uh, could at least get the shares back up to 1.2 pence, 
and after that we've got the top of a broadening triangle up to 1.8 pence. But uh, I suppose in a way the longer this takes, uh, the bigger the, the eventual uh, break would be. Uh, the positive at the moment though, which uh, worked as far as Versarion was concerned uh, last week and may work for extract, is the way that we've had a lower, uh, lower lows uh, for uh, March versus February, but a higher RSI trade so that the uh, bullish divergence in the end may be the thing that uh, gets the stock to break, uh, go over the top and break uh, resistance and then head higher. Uh, stop loss at the moment though back below 0.8 pence if you are uh, trying to jump the, con the gun on any uh, potential upside. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.